Hi guys, uh, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. You're probably sitting there thinking, what happened to her face? Well, nothing, thank you very much. Uh, I just haven't finished my makeup, not because I was lazy. Uh, I actually wanted to test this out with you and like try it on my face directly, so that's why I did not finish my makeup. I'm going to do it with you. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury a Quick and Easy Makeup Look in 5 in the shade uh, or in the sun-kissed set. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Uh, I'm going to swatch everything for you and then I'm go going to try and apply this on my face and we'll see how well it's going to work, right? Okay, so as I mentioned before, I have the sun-kissed uh, set. Uh, there are five of them. Um, I was uh, torn between this one, this one and the super chic one, but I think the super chic had a matte eyeshadow, which I thought the sparkly one would be a bit better. Uh, the packaging is just everything. It is so beautiful. You can buy it separately. Uh, you can buy like all of the items inside separately, but it will just cost you more. So I guess it's probably better to buy one of those like pre-made sets. So you have like a mirror inside and three items. Easy eye wand, easy lip and cheek wand, and easy highlighter wand. So as you can see, all three of them are here. And uh, from what I kind of understood, um, every set has a different eye wand and different lip and cheek wand. Uh, whereas the, there are only two highlighters across uh, all those like five sets. So I don't think there's a point of like having all of these. Um, maybe you could potentially get one set and then maybe some extra items just to kind of like alternate between them. I, th I think that would be just probably be, like a better option. But all in all, I think it's really cute. So you literally just take uh, the item out of here like that. And as you can see, we don't really have the top part of that highlighter. Uh, so you have to keep all those items in here. Uh, so that's, um, I mean, I wish they actually provided us with some tops as well in case we kind of want to keep these separately, but they didn't. So, I mean, we have to work with that, right? Okay, so let me just swatch these items for you. So I'm going to start with the highlighter. This is the Golden Glow highlighter. So I'm going to swatch it here. I don't know if you can see much, but it's over there. It's like a very kind of subtle, glowy uh, shade. I think it's this one is going to be probably more suitable for like warmer skin tones. If you have like a proper, uh, like very like visible cool undertones, then this might be a little bit too golden for you. Next up, we have a Sun Kissed Lips and Cheeks product, and I do love that shade. This is pretty. So this is how it looks. I like that. Also, it seems like it feels very smooth and buttery on my skin, so that's really good. And then we have Sun-Kissed Eyes. So that is a shade. And I'm going to swatch it here on the top. So there you go, these are the shades. Really pretty, I really love uh, how like natural these um, highlighters look. You don't really get that kind of mermaid, mermaidy sparkly uh, impression, it's just like very kind of subtle, so that's cool. Uh, and I think it's time for me to try and just put on my face and we'll see how it's going to work. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to begin with my um, eye product. Uh, so I'm just going to apply it like that. You literally don't really have to have like any tools. You can just smudge everything with your fingertips. Uh, you can just... Um, uh, you can just put like a really kind of thin layer and make it quite sheer and then you can like build it up to like a, a little bit like stronger shade so that sounds that all sounds amazing uh, and obviously i don't think this is going to be like a proper a fancy makeup but something that uh, is going to be quite quick and um and uh effortless so this is how it looks so far i don't know if you can see much but uh, i'm trying to build a little bit more coverage here just to see how far I can go. I'm just applying it like all over my uh, eyelid. Kind of want to see how it's going to work and kind of blend it with my finger a little bit. Yeah, I really like the shade. And I really like how blendable it is. So yeah, so I'm applying this to my other eyelid as well because you know, obviously it's probably going to look better. So I've applied this on my uh, both eyelids. I'm just going to apply a little bit like under my eye just to just to kind of complete the look. So a little bit over here. We'll see. OK, 
Okay, so that's done. Uh, I uh, am purposely not using any tools because uh, I think the, that's the whole idea of this set to be able to use it like anywhere uh, real quick. So I'm just not even, I'm not even going to use any like brushes or anything like that uh, to blend it. And I think it actually looks quite nice uh, considering the fact that I just used my fingers to like literally blend it. Okay, so the next step would be my sun-kissed lips and cheeks product. So I'm obviously going to apply on my cheeks and on my lips. I'm going to start with my cheeks. Uh, so let's just, I, I just don't want to go over to over the top. So I'm just going to like dab a little bit and then we can always build it up a little bit more. Okay, it blends quite nicely. I think you could do it with a brush as well and it could probably be like um, even a little bit nicer. Uh, but as I said, this is uh, something that's supposed to be very effortless and um, you don't always carry like a, like a, the whole set of brushes with you, right? So uh, yeah, I think it's all right with your fingers as well. I don't really want to overdo it because I feel like if I apply too much, it might be difficult to blend with my finger. But let me just test it out. Let me just do a little bit more. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to remove it after all um i do have like another video to record afterwards so hopefully my makeup will look at least to some extent presentable so yeah i don't know if you can see much because it's again very subtle i do see a bit of that a bit more here probably than on the other side so i'm just going to mm -hmm. add a little bit more okay so there we go a little bit of blush and let's just try it out on my lips i mean i really like the shade though so hopefully this is going to work we don't have a uh, lip liner so um, but i can already tell that this lip color is a uh, very kind of like natural so you don't really need to have like a very kind of defined uh lip line but if you like that obviously you will have to just use a different product like a product from that's not really included in this set mm, that's very creamy mm. yeah very nice, very creamy, very, it seems to be like one of those like Charlotte Tilbury formulas uh, when it's actually matte, but it's not really drying on your lips and it feels like, like almost like a lip balm or something like that, but it's like a proper lipstick. So really happy with that shade as well. Um, this is how it looks so far. Okay, so the last item in this set is our uh, Golden Glow uh, highlighter wand. And I want to apply this as my uh, highlighter and I also want to apply a little bit on my uh, brow bones just to kind of highlight my eye look slightly. So let's, uh, let's try that out. So first let's do the thing that's a little bit easier, which is highlighting. So I do apply, I will apply a little bit here. And I'm actually dabbing because I do have my foundation, but I think uh, if you don't really wear foundation, you can actually literally like just uh, draw on your skin um, and you won't really smudge your, like anything under this, right? Uh, I don't really want to smudge my foundation, so I'm just like dabbing it, but it still leaves enough pigmentation here to be able to create some sort of look. It's very subtle. It's very pretty. So this is how it looks on my cheeks. Um, I really like the kind of soft focus um, glow that it gives. It's really pretty, it's very natural. Uh, the only thing I need to mention is uh, if you have some like imperfections in your skin, uh, this can actually make it slightly more visible. I can tell because I do have like some like little holes here on this cheek. Uh, I used to have those microdermals, uh, like those little like uh, cute studs in my um, uh, left cheek. And uh, I have like those little holes just to, you know, just like a little scars. Uh, and it is a little, more, more, a little bit more visible than uh, I would normally expect from a highlighter. I mean, I do apply highlighter here like all the time. And I actually can tell that this time this is a slightly more visible. So the highlighter, I'm not really sure how um, good this is going to be for skin with imperfections. But other than that, I really like the way it looks. Okay, so let's try and apply a little bit of the highlighter on my brow bones now. And let's see if that's going to change anything. Okay, so it actually looks really pretty. It actually looks really pretty. It doesn't really change uh, my looks uh, like 100%, but it does look pretty. And I'm going to just apply this um, uh, here on my uh, eye corners just to give this oh that's going to be difficult because this is slightly too big i think so i think i just uh i'm getting too creative with this now i don't think well i mean 
mean you can do that, but I think it's probably not the best of my ideas today. So yeah, it's slightly too big to use in your like corners, eye corners, unless you maybe have big eyes and you could do this. But I think for me, this is something I'm going to use as my highlighter and maybe my brow bones um, and that's it. So there you go. This is, uh, these are all the products tested on my skin. I'm going to apply my mascara uh, and maybe some liner, like eyeliner, and then I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so I'm back with you. I applied some mascara and some like brownish um, uh, liner in my waterline. Uh, I decided not to use any like liquid eyeliner, uh, like a winged liner that what I usually do on my upper eyelid because I think uh, with this set, what you're going to get is literally like a very everyday look. And for my everyday look, I would just probably just leave it like that. I kind of like uh, how it looks. I think this is a great thing to have in your bag just in case you spontaneously need a makeup or maybe if you're in a hurry and you kind of want everything to kind of match, uh, then having this set, you don't really have to think too much. You just apply everything where it should be and then and, and you're good to go. Uh, I like how uh, this looks. Obviously, I don't think this is like a proper camera worthy kind of makeup, not something I would just uh, apply on my face to record a video uh, but I think I might actually add a bit of liner after this video so that I can uh, I can do another video just wearing this on my face. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this purchase. Uh, obviously, uh, this is not like super cheap. Like I don't think anything from Charlotte Tilbury is cheap. Uh, so I don't really see the reason of having like more than one of these unless you're like a hardcore Charlotte Tilbury collector, then fine. Uh, but all in all, I think uh, having one of these in your bag is a great idea and I could definitely recommend it. Also, maybe wait uh, until they have like 20% discount at some point or like a gift with purchase or something like that. Also, it might be a good idea to wait until it's like reduced maybe or when they have some sort of a gift with purchase. Then you can have a bit more value for your money, I guess. So thank you very much for watching. For more beauty related content, check those videos here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.